Some people thought they were right wing, some people thought they were left wing, and some people just thought they were terrifying. They were a band with big ambitions. They wanted to change the world. They're called New Model Army, and some of their stuff's quite fascistic, and I thought, are they quite dodgy politically? So I want to be a rock star. She said, right, I'll let you. <laughs> the army went on, and the audience went mental. And that was the moment we knew that there was something very special going on here. I never heard anything like this in my life before. New Model Army could verbalise how angry the country was. Punk was a confrontational time. The whole point of that punk is like, what are you against? What are you got? Nice to see you. I mean, they just look like a bunch of bloody reprobates, really. <laughs> Cheers, mate. The music press would slag New Model Army off all the time. People concluded that we were a bunch of thick, ignorant, militaristic bonnets. The clogs and the travelling clothes that they wore, they just didn't make any attempt to fit in. In England, you can be on top very quick, uh, you can be forgotten even quicker. Don't think we're all pals. There was this inherent Friction, both driven by demons. I'm regretful about lots of things, I screwed up lots of things. I think if they'd been huge, they'd have been huge and broken up and wouldn't have wanted to do it anymore. This way is better because they're still doing it the way they wanted to do it. There's sons and daughters going to every gig when their mums and dads used to go. You've got forever. Looking back, I'm quite proud of all this.